Putin scares world with World War III in the event of conflict between Russia and NATO. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said after the country's elections that should there be a conflict between Russia and NATO, the world would be one step away from World War III. Putin's response to the question of whether a full-scale conflict between Russia and NATO is possible? I think that everything is possible in today's world. However, the Russian president said it is unlikely anyone would be interested in this. It is clear to everyone that Russo-NATO conflict would be just one step away from a full-scale World War III, he added. The Russian president has said that it is no secret that fighters from NATO states are present on the ground in Ukraine, arguing that these service members are facing extremely grim prospects. Speaking to his supporters and the media after his presidential election victory, Putin stressed that Moscow is well aware of calls in the US-led military bloc to potentially deploy troops to Ukraine. We hear both French and English speech there. There is nothing good in this. First of all for them, because they die there and in large numbers, he said. French President Emmanuel Macron suggested last month that the West cannot exclude the possibility of sending soldiers to aid Ukraine. He later described Russia as an adversary, insisting, however, that Paris is not waging war on Moscow. Commenting on Macron's remarks, Putin noted that while NATO troops in Ukraine are expected to act as an auxiliary force helping Kiev train its military, this is not much different from what mercenaries are doing there now. Russia, he added, wants France not to escalate the conflict but to help find a peaceful solution to hostilities. Cuba, Nepal, Africa, Latin America, Ukraine exposes foreign mercenaries fighting for Russia. The Russian mobilization resource is depleting, so the aggressor country is increasingly recruiting foreigners for the war against Ukraine. In Ukrainian captivity, there are representatives from Cuba, Nepal, African countries and Latin America, according to a statement from a representative of the coordinating headquarters for the treatment of prisoners of war, Petro Yatsenko. According to Yatsenko, after significant losses, fewer and fewer Russians are willing to serve under contract, including among the prisoners. Therefore, Russia has intensified recruitment among foreigners from low-income countries. At the Media Center Ukraine, a briefing was held with the participation of captured mercenaries who shared their stories of how they ended up on the front lines. They were thrown in like cannon fodder because they weren't trained. Some of them were deceived, meaning they were promised one thing, but in reality, it turned out to be completely different, Yatsenko said. He noted that these individuals could be prosecuted in Ukraine for mercenary activities because it is illegal. However, there have been no such trials yet, so foreigners remain in custody as prisoners of war. At the same time, Russia does not want to include these citizens in exchange lists because they are not needed.
Representatives of the coordination headquarters have called on the government of foreign countries to take more effective measures to prevent their citizens from being deceived by Russian recruiters to preserve their health and to prevent their deaths.